Here we are on a beautiful July day at Young Dundas Square, which is supposed to be the premier tourist attraction in Toronto. Tourists are come here in abundance at this time of year. Yet, look behind us. Look behind us. Do you see any activity going on, there, on other than people loitering on the square? I don't smell anything but wacky tobacco. And I see drug addicted people just kind of hanging here. In 2003, when Young Dundas Square first opened, I predicted it would become a hangout for the homeless. I'm sorry to say that I was right. And why? Because you've got a group of people from the city running the square who have no clue how to run it. According to their own budget documents, it costs $3,500 uh, to get a permit to rent this square for a day during the summer months. That doesn't include any other expenses like services and equipment and manpower. In contrast to Nathan Phillips Square, which costs nothing to get a permit, uh, except for services, equipment, and staff. So where do you think people would go? If you look at the Young Dundas Square calendar online, it's, it shows that there are no events taking place during the week. They're only held on the weekend. The general manager of the square admitted to me that they've had to fill some of the um, empty spaces with their own events, including free yoga on Mondays for one hour and free films. Experts tell me that if there was more programming on the square and if there were more than six tables to allow people to sit, enjoy their coffees or their lunch, perhaps the vagrants, the homeless and the drug addicted from the neighboring safe injection site on Victoria Street would not be lured here. That just makes sense. But don't ask City Hall to run things efficiently. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Sue Ann Levy.